Lil, and welcome back. And I am very excited to bring another art toy review to you all. This is the new Horns Yard, It Was a Good Day, collaboration between Pop Mart and Hands and Factory. Now, you may know this person as AKA Uptempo, Hands and Factory, Baby Running Horns, or just Running Horns. I've been a big fan of this designer for a while, and I was excited to see that these new toys were being announced, but there wasn't a lot of good information about getting them stateside. So far, as far as I know, we just had an overseas release. So I got a little impatient waiting for a response from Pop Mart when they might list them. And I found there was a seller out of LA on Etsy that was carrying them. They'd already opened them up. I knew which two I wanted, so I went ahead and ordered them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these guys on the packaging and see if they're worthy of our collection. So out of the packaging, the first thing we gotta say about these guys is how well they're packed. Even though they're just in a wrapped packaging within the box, there's individual wrapping that helps protect the accessories as well as the figure. You can tell they took a few extra steps in taking great care of these figures, and they really did a top notch for this. Now, as you can see, the two figures I have here is Strike and Day Wraith. I always loved the Wraith design. I regret passing stuff up by the designer in the past, and this was finally a chance for me to get a hold of a Wraith of my own. But inside of each package, we do have a card with their name, and on the back, we have a little code that you can scan. We'll go ahead and look at Strike first. This is some really nice detail. We have these cool safety glasses on here. It says horns in the middle. Work hard, be kind. Some nice detail on the horns. Love the expression. Which, everything about the designs here. We've got his sort of uh, work coveralls. Some tampos. Lots of nice detail. We have this really well-painted crowbar here. Shoes look good. I mean, for for really what this is, for being a blind box series and the price, the packaging, the, the quality of the figure, really top-notch. I'm really happy with this. And honestly, even though these are the two I wanted the most, I'm tempted to pick up more. He has one other accessory, and that is this nicely painted toolbox. I think these are going to look great in the shelf. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at Wraith. Wraith here, world-class loser company on the hat. He's got his headphones resting on his hat. His beard and hair kind of have this effect of like melting paint. Horns on the back. Also nice detail on the horns. Some tempo on the chest. These are not posable figures, I don't believe. They are solely statues. Shoes are a bit more simple, but still look good. And this is a really well-painted little listening device. I don't know if it's a Walkman or CD player or just MP3. Who knows? But it's really nicely painted. It looks really good. So we've got these guys here. And just for comparison, for size, so just to give you guys an idea, you know, I think these range between 17 to... Uh, $23 depending on where you get them and as well as if it's open box or blind box. And to compare this to a figure that I paid a bit more for, there's not a substantial difference between these. Like, of course, this has got some more mass. It's also a figure I really love, but the price point here really shows just how top-notch these new figures are. And I feel like if you don't jump on them now, you will likely regret it. Because I bet, just like all his other work, the prices will shoot up. So like always, let us know in the comments below if these Horns Yard figures are worthy of your collection. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.